Hi, I'm Maureen Seba. I'm going to show you today how you can make simple nature prints using things from your garden and golden, open, slow drying acrylics. I start out with one of these gel plates. This one is five by seven. I have a simple clipboard that keeps it in place and I'll show you why in just a minute. You can use any kind of paper. Copy paper is fine. I like to use resume 100% cotton paper just because I like to work with the best. Place this jelly plate, just eyeball it, and put it in the middle of the clipboard. See, it doesn't even move. I also need a brayer. I like to use two brayers so that I can change colors in between. And I have this, it's called a Baron. For pressing down, it's nice and smooth, but you don't need it. You can use your hands. The most important thing, golden, open, slow drying acrylics. And then you have your paper and some artist tape. You can use masking tape if you put it on your clothes first and take it off. So if you notice, I eyeball this piece of paper, put it on top of the clean gel plate. Then I take my artist tape or masking tape and I tape it down. And then I fold this page over. Take another piece of paper, do the same exact thing. And then I turn it the other way. See how it's nice and flat and straight. There's a reason that we do this. It's so that we can print multiple colors without ever having to move the paper. It doesn't go anywhere. So let's start with an Indian yellow hue. I like this color, it's bright, it's transparent, it's really pretty. I put a dime size amount on the gel plate. Of course, you'll need a little more if you're using a bigger plate, but I found that this amount is just about right. Now I take my brayer and I roll it out. Notice I'm not going back and forth yet. I'm just spreading evenly across the plate so that I have a nice thin coat of this beautiful Indian yellow hue. And now you can take any garden leaf, any leaf from your yard. I like this bougainvillea. I sometimes take off a few of the extra leaves, but I think it makes a pretty print. I lay the leaf down. It can be just one leaf or several. I fold over one of the papers. With my Baron, I press down, or you can use your hands, like I said. You don't have to press really hard, but you wanna be sure that you press all over the plate. Lift, and there you have your first print. Now, I lift the leaves, set them aside, and now I fold over the second piece of paper, rub with a baron or with my hands, and I unfold that print. So that's what we have so far. Now, Let's add some teal. Roll out the teal. I'm using actually the same brayer. I don't mind if it gets a little bit green because leaves are green. And this is nice and smooth. So now I fold over again. Rub with my brayer or my hands. And there we have it. The reason that this covered up so much is because teal is more opaque than the Indian yellow hue. You can see it right there. So I rub this and I open it up. Now I'll take the leaf that I used before, I put it back somewhat the same spot now I put this over again on the first page and I rub it Then I open it up and look what we have. Super pretty. Here we are. Look at that. Fun. 
because this is not where I want it, but this one is. I'm going to take this off, carefully remove the tape, and I keep the tape and use it again. I'll put that aside, take another piece of paper. So now we're going to take a little bit of iridescent pearl fine. I put a little bit of the pearl, about a dime size amount. I'm gonna go ahead and use my brayer without cleaning it because I like the way the colors mix when I roll them out on the brayer. I can take a mask or a stencil. This is just a circle that I found from somewhere. You can cut one out yourself or you can use anything, anything you see. Now I'm going to rub, pull apart. Ooh, now you see what happens? It's got a little shimmer to it on half of the plate. Now I lift this up, put it aside, and I print this. remnants of the other leaf. Now let's put another leaf on here. Let's do this. Now I'm going to print again. This is the first piece of paper that I started printing. I'm just going to print and print and print on this paper until I get it the way I want it. There's no right or wrong. There are no mistakes. Try this again. And there we go. So we're gonna try a little copper this time. This is golden open, slow drying acrylics, iridescent copper fine. Mm. Again, I'm using my same brayer. I don't wanna clean a lot of different things, but look what happens. This is really pretty when you're making these leaf prints. Leaf. Maybe one more. Roll it over. Mmm. Now lift. Lift the copper leaves. I can even take this one leaf and I can place it here. Take a piece of paper or a paper towel. Press. Ta -da. Let's try this. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. So let's try something different. I'm using Hansa Yellow Opaque. So this is very opaque. Again, the same briar. I don't need to clean my brayer each time because it just makes beautiful colors. The color naturally mixes on the gel plate. And now let's take pomegranate leaf. Let's try this, see how this works. Full print. Now I'm going to just eyeball this. without registering the paper, because you don't have to, especially if you're going to use these prints in collage, and there you have it. And it's glimmery, shimmery, because it's got the copper and the remnants of the Hansa yellow and a little bit of the teal. Look how pretty that is. See? This is a simple and fun way to get to know your golden open acrylics. See you next time.